Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reina. If you're new here, then welcome. Today, we're gonna test a little bit of makeup because I haven't put anything on and I can't wait to see how it goes. So, as you may know, as living in Australia, one of the Australian local cosmetic brands that you definitely know, seen, used or heard about is designer brands, DB Cosmetics. And they recently came up with their new line called Skin Renew line. They first launched their foundation and just, I think last week maybe, they launched their pressed powder. I was looking online trying to give you guys a bit of an idea of the shades because I forgot to take a photo when I was in store. Apparently it's not online yet uh, when I'm recording this, but I finger crossed I think they're going to launch it very soon online. So when I did a shopping recently, they give me two testers from their new foundation, but these two are very dark in the shade, the two darkest the shade that I've got. So they only have six shade ranges there. And I thought, you know what, not bother the foundation because I know it's been out there for a little while, but I want to try the pressed powder. I'm always on a hunt for a good pressed powder. So I pick up their pressed powder, also pick up their concealer to work them together and see how it goes on my face. So if this sounds like something you're interested, let's just keep on watching and don't forget, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up for today's video and consider subscribe down below. I have some regular makeup reviews that I upload every couple months. I'll leave them down below, but I also do a lot of Australian sunscreen and skin cares so yeah let's just get started we'll quickly swatch these two foundations and then we can just move on to the actual product so obviously they only have six shades I had a look in store just to try to figure out what's my shade because I usually go for like color nude or sand in general and I had one of the designer brands foundation in the color sand and it was a little bit light so I had a look this time I think my color will be like nude beige so that's right in the middle um, like light to medium towards to the medium side. So the color they've got is Proselyn Avery Classic Ivory Light Sand Nude Beige True Beige and Warm Honey. And the one that I've got here are True Beige and Warm Honey. The color True Beige has got a nice neutral undertone to it but I think it's just the shade itself it's a little bit too dark for me. Even like compare the shade on my face, like if I swatch it over here. I think one shade lighter will be perfect, which is gonna be that nude beige. And then we've got warm honey. Yeah, the warm honey is definitely too dark for me. So let's just pop that one over here. Slightly on the warmer side, but I think it's nothing too pink, at least on my face. It, it looks like a bronzer shade to me. So, yep, we're not gonna use any of this. It's too dark. Now let's have a look of the concealers they've got. They came up with four shades with the concealer. Let me have a look on my phone. What are the shades availability? They've got a shade porcelain, ivory, beige, and honey. I pick up the color beige. I try the ivory. It will be like a brightening concealer for me. And because I'm using the pressed powder mixed with this concealer, so I'm sort of using this as a concealer slash foundation for today. We've got eight mils of product here and retails for $16.99. It is claims to be a lightweight ceramide infused concealer, melts into the skin for a natural hydrated finish. It is having a doe foot applicator here and also on the tip of the concealer that gives you a little sponge which you can use it to dab it. I guess it's friendly if you're on travel that you don't have to bring a separate product with you. So this is the shade of the concealer. You can tell although I've wiped off my uh, foundation, this is definitely lighter than the other two. So what I'll do is I haven't put any primer on, I just did my last step sunscreen, we're just gonna lather it on. Okay, my SD card was full so let's just apply it to the areas where I usually do, which is my under eye area and maybe just the chin here because I've got a lot to cover. It says it gives a natural sort of finish, so we'll see how it goes. Um, on this side, under the eye, I'll use the sponge and then we'll use a brush on this side. Maybe around the chin, I'll just go with my brush. Let's blend it out. It does come with a little bit of fragrance. It's not smelling bad, but 
just want to let you know there's that fragrance smell there. Yeah, I think the coverage just with sponge is actually not bad. Alright, I'll go with my brush on the other side. Feels very lightweight. It's not causing any creasing and it's giving it quite a bit of dewy finish, like quite satiny, natural that glow. I guess that's where that hydration comes. I'm really wanting to have a good concealer these days. I love the one I'm using in my project pan at the moment, but you know, once you use one particular concealer for too long, you're just sick of it. So this is the side with brush, and this is the side with sponge. I can still see my dark circles coming through, I mean, but I don't notice a huge difference. Like the side with the sponge actually feels maybe just a little bit better. I might just bring back a little bit. Yeah, I really like the side with the sponge. I don't know how it looks in the camera. It's not dark outside, but it's cloudy today, so it's always cloudy. I'm gonna do a little bit more just around the um, scarring here. That's a little bit more. probably can build up to a medium coverage. I'll just get the rest, whatever left on my brush, doing a little bit of my T-zone brighten up a tiny bit. I don't mind, like this is a good coverage that I would like to have on a daily basis. Definitely not full full coverage, but it feels very lightweight. It's not tacky, it's not sinking into my little fine line stairs so is really yeah quite impressive all right let's test it out the powder now I don't want it to go full coverage so I can't really see how the powder goes so this is the pressed powder here I believe it got four shades as well so similar shade range to their concealer I've got in the color nude beige so I think it's the second darkest I feel like with designer brands shade I'm always in their nude beige sort of range. I tried their sand before and it was always a little bit too bright. Like the undertone is correct but I feel like the shade is just a little bit too light for me. So it comes with a little sponge over here and a big size pan. We've got we've got 11.5 grams. That's pretty decent. And then and you also get a little mirror over here where they cover the sponge. I had a look of this mirror the other day like used it. I think it's really good. I did use this powder yesterday to touch up of my makeup. I think it did it pretty good. So what we're gonna do today as a setting powder, set all my concealer areas, but also on the rest of my face as a pressed powder foundation, just see how it goes. So it claims to give a flawless coverage and silky smooth finish. It contains ceramides to help restore the skin barrier, hyaluronic acid to hydrate and restore elasticity, and vitamin C and A to help produce visible signs of aging. The shade Nude Beige doesn't swatch like much on the back of my hand because it's really close to my skin tone, which I really enjoy. I think it's going to work perfectly as a foundation, also set my face. What I'll do, I'll do half face with the sponge it gives and then the other half face with a brush. And using a brush with a pressed powder foundation or face powder is usually the way that I enjoy. So let's go with the sponge first. It's not picking up a lot of product though. So I'm just really dabbing it in here. Now we're talking. It's definitely a light coverage so far. Do I have like one hair here? Yeah, I can see the foundation. It's sort of mattified everything, slightly even my skin tone. I just think with the sponge is not giving 
much of that sort of coverage. It's just really hard to get the product on the sponge and then transfer it onto my face. So I'll leave it like this. Let's go with the brush on the other side and see if there's a difference. So I'm just using a Tarte brush, a face brush. This is one of their holiday collection a couple years back. It definitely gives a bit more coverage. Like I can tell from the mirror straight away. I'm not sure if you pick it up on camera. I do have a lot of redness around here. I've got these ever since I was a baby, so not complaining. It is what it is. Mom got it, grandma's got it, family's jeans. <laughs> I think it even out a skin tone really well. And I feel like the brush is doing better than the sponge. Like the redness over here compared to still redness over here. But this is less obvious, more smoothed out. And here is like more picking through. So I'm going to try to use the sponge and just dab it a little bit more. I just found this sponge to give it to you. It's really hard to pick it up. Or maybe just not using it correctly maybe. I don't not really good at using a sponge uh, to be honest this is definitely my tone like there's no differences I like that one good thing about pressed powder if it's in your shade is you just feel, looks like nothing like no makeup but you did apply it a little bit and that's what you need you don't want people to see that you're applying makeup or at least that's what I want I don't want anyone to tell that I apply makeup but I did Okay, so I'm not mad about this. It's giving a light coverage, I'll say, but it feels very nice. It's not heavy, definitely not cakey at the moment. And it sets the concealer pretty well, but to be honest, the concealer probably don't need to set. It feels so good. Very lightweight, I'm very happy. The powder, I believe it's around um, $14.99 to maybe $16.99. It's the same price range compared to their concealer. I'm really happy with both of these at the moment. I'll just quickly do like a simple eye look and contour and the lipstick and stuff. I'll come back to give a quick first impression. Alright, so I just did a very, very simple look. Everything that I used, apart from my lipstick, is all coming from the Project Painting products. So really simple, not going anywhere, purely testing out. And I think it's really looking nice. I didn't even use a setting spray because I don't want anything to sort of change the look of it but nothing was moving around everything else applied nicely on top of it i think it looks good for a daily basis it's not one of those that it's gonna create a flawless look that it's gonna for that special occasion usually you go for a liquid foundation anyway for a quick daily basis even going for work if it can last that long i think it's gonna be really nice uh let's have a look of the time now Time has been flying because my um, SD card was full so it took me forever to export things. So we're at 125 at the moment. We'll come back and see how I go throughout the day. I'm very happy how it turns out at the moment. Really exciting and high hopes for both of these. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Alright, I'm back for a check-in and this will probably be my final check-in. We're currently 6.38, so the whole makeup has been on my face for more than five hours now. Uh, I turned off my studio light, but I kept the room light out and I'm facing towards the window. So there's a bit of mixed natural light. I feel this is more close to what you see in real life. Um, I'm really impressed. I mean, I used to press powder. It didn't take me much of effort. And the finish that I've got is almost like I applied a liquid foundation with light to light to medium coverage. I like the coverage. I like how it goes on the face. I didn't do any touch up. I did blow my nose. I reapplied my lips, but it's not affecting anything. I still like the side with the brush a bit better than the sponge they provided. So application method was, I reckon brushes bring a better of uh, coverage on there but look at the shines here it's actually really good and looking at all the concealers I'll just zoom you guys in a little bit I think the eyeliner and the mascara definitely leave a bit of darkness around here and you do see through that sort of uh, dark circle a little bit more obvious than I first applied it on but it's still a lot left in here and it, there's no cakiness no crazy whatsoever 
I think that's really really impressive. I really enjoyed and where I tried to touch up with my um, pimple acne there where they left the hyperpigmentation that's covered it really really good so overall speaking I'm super super impressed I feel like I might found a new favorite pressed powder with a good coverage and for this concealer the fact that it's not crazy under my eyes and still give a light to medium that it's basically building up to medium coverage I'm so happy that I went there and I purchased both of these and it's so 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 affordable so congratulations to the new launches to designer brands I mean you guys did so well one big complaint and probably the only complaint is the shade range only four shades for these two and I am light to light to medium sort of skin tone I'm choosing the second darkest so you can imagine if people having really dark skin it's not gonna suit well or for people really light skin they've only got another two choices to pick so that's probably the only thing but overall speaking the formula wise if you can find your perfect color or close enough you're gonna love it at least i do so that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and helped you to pick up the product see if these two are sort of something you wanted to have in your collection if you already picked it up please let me know down in a comment below how you founding them and that's all for today uh, i hope you had, had a great day let's stay safe and stay positive and i'll see you guys in my next video bye mm -hmm.